Thank you for tuning in. What you're looking at is the TexasVestments.com website about us page, an investment club here in Dallas, Texas, detailing who we are and what we do. I'm the club president, Lee Ennis. In this video, we'll detail what we're currently invested in, why we've invested, and what our outlook is for the market. Hope you enjoy and learn something. All right, happy November. Uh, this is our November portfolio update. I'm just going to go quickly uh, through our positions and then uh, into portfolio analysis. So first up, we have Hasbro, which is a fairly uh, new position for us. Um, they actually went up to about 101, 102 um, before coming back down uh, to somewhere around 94, I believe. Um, a lot of that had to do with uh, Toys R Us uh, going bankrupt. As you can see, um, Hasbro is, is, is right back up to I think the 98 to $97 range so we don't have a signal uh, to buy or sell yet on that one uh, but it's doing well for us um, alright Rogers communication um, it, it's a telco it's like a utility um, they have um, they've been doing fairly well uh, with uh, their, their cell phone uh, customers they've been um, adding uh, more more people uh, more customers rather um, their uh, home internet um, and home uh, cable uh, has also uh, been adding uh, new subscribers uh, every quarter which is good um, they uh, they they rolled out uh, their new like television platform something or other uh, personally I don't like it um, but you know that's what the telcos are doing AT&T direct TV those guys uh, they have been getting some competition um, from uh, one of their competitors up there in Canada I forget the name uh, right now but um, that that's been giving them a little bit of trouble but for the most part um, the price remains the same it doesn't go anywhere um, hasn't gone up very much hasn't come down much uh, remember uh, Roger Communications also owns uh, the Toronto Blue Jays as well as I believe the C Canadian hockey team as well I might be wrong about that uh, but they have some other things going on other than than just uh, internet and, and cell phones but they're doing pretty good uh, the 5g is rolling out so that can be uh, a nice little uh, tailwind for them to push that uh, stock price up a bit further all right, American Electric Power, uh, they uh, lost a bid in, I believe, Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, well, definitely in Texas for sure. Uh, they lost a bid to uh, build out uh, some wind power. Oklahoma, I think, is being appealed, um, um, and it was supposed to be like the biggest wind project uh, in the country uh, up in, uh, I believe it's West Texas. Uh, so they, they lost out on that. Um, you know, not a big deal really. Um, it affected the, the stock price a little bit, uh, but really it kind of just went down with the rest of the market. Uh, the price now is up to uh, 75 uh, bucks, so it's doing well. Like I said, it's a utility. They pay a decent dividend, not going anywhere. That's kind of what we want out of them. Uh, Exxon Mobil uh, has been up and down um, um, because of the price of oil. Um, it did it did get down pretty pretty low enough for us to warrant a buy, uh, but it didn't happen uh, at the time uh, that we typically update our portfolio. And so again, we don't try to time stuff with this thing. Uh, if it's a buy, you know, on the the first or the second of the month then okay otherwise we don't we don't touch it and so you see here it is a buy but uh, that's only a you know less than one percent gain so it's not worth us putting any more money into it the company is, is doing fine um, they did um, um, their volumes on I believe it was natural gas um, have come down quite quite a bit um, but uh, they're, they're still doing good it's kind of moseying along right now uh, Coca-Cola very excited about this um, we have been in this position for a long time and uh, we were not able uh, to get out of it primarily because of this huge uh, fee that we took way back in I think 2016 um, this was due to uh, a merger of Coca-Cola bottling co company and Coca-Cola 
uh, bottling over in Europe. And so anyway, so there is one huge company now. Uh, they're doing really well, uh, but we have finally uh, gotten a sales signal on this thing. So we can't wait to get out of it <laughs> and get into something else. Um, Pfizer, I'm really shocked that we don't have uh, a sales signal on Pfizer. And honestly, I'm going to take a look at this real quick. Let's see. There we go. So there's our sales signal. So, um, so we're going to look at replacing uh, Pfizer as well. Uh, General Electric um, uh, has been going through a lot. I mean, new CEOs, uh, investigation by the SEC for their accounting practices, just all kind of bad, bad stuff. Um, I recently uh, did a fundamental analysis on GE. And I'm going to put that uh, link for that analysis in the description of this video. Uh, so if you want to see that, you can. But uh, after the analysis, it's clear uh, that we have to exit uh, General Electric. Um, what that means uh, for the the, uh, the the partnership at the moment is that we are going to have our very first loss. It will be our first loss in, in over uh, three years. Um, it was bound to happen at least once. Um, it's not a huge deal. Um, I've already kind of looked at the numbers. Um, it looks like we're going to be uh, right under a negative 1% um, for the year so far, but we have up until June of 2019 to make that up. So I still think that we're going to come out positive at the end of the year, uh, at the end of our fiscal year anyway, which is June of 2019. Um, I don't know if we're going to make our 10%, but uh, who knows? We have a long time to go uh, to get that 10%. All right, uh, Annalee. Annalee uh, has really uh, just been down in the dumps. Uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, the interest rates uh, going up. I, I have to say, though, the company is doing really well um, with, with hedging their portfolio and they're they're paying a, a stupendous uh, a dividend uh, for us. Um, I have been trading around the position uh, using uh, short options, and so uh, not only have we been getting dividends, but we also but we but we've also been able to make some money. Uh, like I said, selling options. Um, we do have a buy signal on this, um, and I will look at possibly uh, buying more shares of this company. Um, just to to bring down our our cost uh, right now uh, we're in at 11.73 I believe the price on Annalee is ten dollars uh, the price to book uh, which is what the company is worth uh, is about ten dollars and fifty cents that's according to the earnings call uh, that they just uh, put out recently so um, you know we may we may look at uh, at buying more shares just wanna for my own benefit kinda look at this and see yeah, so if if we did, we'll, we'll be in at about uh, ten dollars and eighty six cents. Not not too bad. Uh, Wirehauser Wirehauser has um, been getting um, knocked down primarily because of the um, the uh, tariffs uh, that has uh, gone on in Canada, and there's also uh, tariffs uh, that are possibly um, well, they are happening right now over in China. Um, so I don't expect there uh, to be, there's our buy signal. All right. I don't expect there to be a trade war. Uh, I expect these, these tariffs to get worked out eventually. Um, the tariff on Canadian lumber, um, who knows, uh, that, that'll kind of get priced in to, to the price of lumber. Uh, the China tariffs, I, I definitely suggest, well, not suggest, I definitely expect uh, to, to have resolved and so that's going to boost uh, the price uh, once that gets done other than that the company's doing really well most of their their logs and timberland is in the south of the US so they haven't had a lot of issues uh, with fire and stuff like that they they do own timberlands in Washington and Oregon uh, which are susceptible to to fire but um, they haven't had a lot of issues uh, there was also um, uh, a, a plant uh, where they process the, the wood and stuff like that that was actually out of commission uh, for maintenance uh, for I believe a full month and so that really uh, hampered numbers but uh, they got the, the plant up and going 
and so uh, I expect the fourth quarter uh, to be uh, better than usual right um, now the housing starts have come down a little bit simply because interest rates have been going up and so it makes buying a house and borrowing a bit more expensive but I personally know about three or four people that's currently uh, looking to purchase a home um, now that is not going to be a new home um, but we have a lot of remodeling still going on and stuff like that so um, I don't see lumber um, slowing down anytime soon uh, Blackstone Blackstone uh, the price got all the way down to oh man I think like $32 or something like that um, uh, based on well really just kind of the market it fell with with the market um, and uh, and uh, the the deal with uh, I forget the name of the company but they were in the, they were in talks to purchase a company there was a, a not a bidding war but there was competition on on who would uh, purchase the company and Blackstone lost and so uh, the the stock price suffered for that but overall the company is doing great um, I haven't had a chance to uh, to get the earnings call yet I don't believe it's actually uh, come out yet but whenever their earnings call uh, comes out I will definitely be uh, listening uh, to get an update on the company alright Cisco uh, we got a sales signal on Cisco the technology sector uh, has really been weird uh, I would say probably for the past uh, six months it was really hot last year and this year has kind of just been ho-hum right um, but Cisco is a really great company um, they have been um, really pushing their new product and, and they, they're saying in the earnings call that uh, the product is being uh, taken up uh, fairly well uh, their numbers look good uh, balance sheet looks good um, the company is, is doing well, but we are going to look for a possible replacement. All right. Uh, 